Hello everyone, welcome to another video, it's Francesco here. So this is episode 2 of the Evernote for Students series. Now, this is really designed, if you're brand new to the Evernote for Students series, uh, which is brand new to this channel, uh, is basically aiming to attempt you to get up to speed on using Evernote for college, high school or university purposes. Now, as you guys know, I'm at university at the moment, but I'm also using it outside of university as well. But what I wanted to do is share my last four years, no, five, six years of using Evernote in a college, university, high school concept. So in today's video, in the episode two, we're gonna be going over how to title and how to really make use of creating a lecture note. So we're gonna make a really effective lecture note and we're gonna share some of the best practices that I've picked up from other people, from myself um, and from a couple of other YouTubers out there who present Evernote. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a note here. So now as you can imagine, the most important thing to do to start off with is actually choose a topic. So let's just choose this as operations. Now this is a dummy account, so I'm just gonna you know, kick things off. So here we have the lecture one. So this is actually, let's say it's gonna lecture three on uh, operations in business okay um so there's many different things that you can do once you've created a note in evernote so obviously the best thing and first thing to do is put it in a notebook but as you can see i've already kicked off a effective note taking style by having a clear title so when i'm going over all of my notes again i can see okay this is lecture three and it's about operations in business that's a really nice way because if i click done here and I see the scroll here, and you know, let's say you have this ton and chuck full of notes over the year, you can see that at a glance, you can go, okay, that's lecture three. I remember doing that one. And you can go into it and sort of be a bit more confident uh, when you're looking things uh, at a glance in note view. So when we're inside the actual note view, there's lots of different things. So at the top, you can obviously see different things. You can see all of the text formatting. So you can change anything from the font size to the actual um, bullet points, you know, checklists and etc. And then there's multimedia assets you can add. So there's links you can add, obviously, attachments of files and Google Drive as well. Now there's also table lines and alterations to the actual distance between different lines, etc. Um, those are more detailed. Let's say you're making something very specific. But uh, what I recommend is really to get into a style that you're comfortable with. Remember, notes are ways that you can go back to them and you want to refer to them in the best possible way. So making them more memorable is important. So if you want to write in pink, then go ahead, you know, uh, as you start writing this, so maybe operations is fun. I really don't know. Uh, you can start adding this, but the one thing that you can do is obviously change the font. So if you have any more readable font uh, that you want to visualize on your phone, you can make the text bigger. So if you want something to be more um, important than the other, then obviously you can change the text. And remember, you can change these just by using these top bars. It works the same on iOS and Android too. If in that lecture you actually have a uh, checklist as well, so if they go, okay, get your checklist out, uh, and you want to start writing some tasks down, part of the coursework or something like that, no, you can. Um, so let's just, operations management. Um, so let's say they want to make plan the coursework for next month. Uh, that's really simple to do, and that checklist is great. And the great thing about the checklist is a tickable which is handy and that will sync across all of your devices. Now you have that for the bullet point list and also the numbered list too and that works really well like I've had no problems with that and it works even smooth even smoothly even more smooth on the iOS and Android version. So what's exciting about the actual like functions inside this is you also get to add multimedia so that's one thing I've enjoyed as a student is being able to add multimedia so if I wanted to it's linked to a specific website. So if I'm thinking of attaching a piece of other like coursework to it, so if I wanted to attach my university website to it, or it could be anything, you know, it could be a useful site, and obviously that would be clickable. Uh, of the course, you have to leave Evernote, but it will be clickable to the university that you go to. Um, and you can edit that uh, and actually remove it, um, but that's pretty handy. That's a great way, um, you know, if you're sending actual lecture notes to your friends, that's pretty handy. The other thing you can do is add attachments. Now you can add up to 25 meg uh, per one. So for example, if I imported this piece of homework that I have off for operations, uh, I can attach that file. Uh, you can attach up to 10 files at once. 
and a note has a certain storage amount. Um, as you can see, there's a PDF, uh, so you can actually edit PDFs, but when you actually click into this, it will take you to an almost sub-page, which is pretty handy. Uh, another great one where you can download it, and if you have the Evernote for Mac available, you can also actually edit it, which is quite nice. It's quite a nice feature to have. Uh, that's really nice to have that multimedia, and especially once you uh, go on the Mac version or you've actually downloaded it natively, because it will actually do it in line, so it doesn't have to be clicked into necessarily, or on mobile. You can just tap it and go into it straight, and nice and easy. So the other things you can do is you can connect it to your Google Drive account, and that's a really nice feature because once you connect it, uh, you have these really nice Google Drive links that go out to Google Drive uh, files, which, for example, you're doing coursework, that's really handy, uh, especially, especially if you link that inside of your piece of work. So, when you're creating these effective notes, just jumping back into this, uh, it's important to have a good structure. So, try and be clean. So, put any checklists at the top. Uh, remember that don't make it too messy. Um, a good note, it has some structure and some format to it. So, actually having these checklists at the top, any of the uh, formatting, like, for example, any of the specific lecture notes you have. So, if you put lecture notes as a title in this section, what you can do is, is uh, bold that, you can maybe make that a tad bigger and start tapping away with some notes there. Now remember you can actually add images in line too, so if you simply just attach a file there then it will come in line which is nice and you can fiddle around with it so you can copy and paste it into certain sections that you want it in, uh, which is quite a handy um, tool to have. Um, the other thing you can do is, which I will explain in another video, is actually clip in from other websites. Now, there's also this feature up here called tags. Now, if you are relating some of the tags to a certain thing, so let's say I've got an operations exam, which I have at the end of this month, or no, in the end of May. Uh, so what I'll do is I'll actually STO 301 revision. And essentially what that might, what that will do is actually correlate that to a tag. And essentially when I go back out of here and I go onto the tag section, I can actually find that tag here. Once I click in, it'll bring in any tag that has that. So, for example, let's say I have all exams in one and I want to do some multi-revision, and I could tag that with um, exams, 20, ooh, exams 2017, right? And if I just go in there, uh, that one's there. But say, for example, obviously that's STO301 there, operations. If I change this to, you'll see what I mean in a sec, information policy, right? And I go on the tags and I type in that, and obviously they're both from different notes, but they'll bring it into one, which is really nice. So as you can see, two different notebooks, uh, but all attached inside of that tag. So if you have exams that are specific, or you want to embed or intertwine different ones, then those tags are pretty handy for that. Now when it comes to actually capturing stuff, what I like to use, especially in the lectures, is these tables. Now I work quite well with tables, so if there's something specific um, that you need to write down, you can actually add these cute little tables, they work... Uh, good on the uh, iOS and Android versions, although sometimes they have formatting issues, but that's really not too much of a problem. Now this is nice because when it comes to planning all of the stuff, it's nice to see it in the table, so don't get daunted with that, which is, is positive because a lot of people don't think that Evernote has that ability. Now on mobile, now you also have the ability, and though, so this applies to Mac, iOS, Android, Windows, you have the ability to add audio, which is a great feature in case you want to record your lecture. Now the actual attachment appear at the bottom like this, it will give you a great way to capture the audio and just essentially have that there for you. To come back later, you can just listen to the audio. Remember that you have to ask permission for your lecturer, which is nice, but it's a good way in capturing the information. Now as you can see in the top left hand corner, you've got set reminder. Now set reminder is a useful one, say you had an exam or you wanted to come back to this specifically, you can hit like tomorrow or choose a specific time and date. Uh, where this will appear, so if you wanted it to appear in your next lecture, so at the end of the lecture you wanted to review it before the lecture started, maybe that five minutes while the lecture is preparing the slides, then that's a really nice way of doing it, so you can quickly go, oh, okay, blah, blah, blah. set that and it will actually pop up on your phone or on your Mac or Windows, or it will give you a nudge on email. The next thing here is add shortcuts too, so you can add it as a shortcut, and let's say that's a really important lecture note, you can just go here and it will appear here, with your other ones. You can remove it there if it's, you know, you accidentally did that. Up here you've also got info, so you can actually see the history of your notes, you can actually see the progress of your vote, but that's only available in premium, sorry about that. 
Um, but if you have premium, that's a great way in seeing any revision history, uh, which is pretty handy. Now over here, you've also got the share button. You can share it to all different sites. This is handy for when you're actually sharing to friends and family or people in your class as well. Uh, very handy feature to have. Now one thing I want to mention before I forget, there's also a handwriting feature. Now the handwriting feature is handy on iOS and Android because you can add all your notes in just by type like handwriting stuff. So for example, for example, if you've got a sketch of, I don't know, let's say you do biology and you've got a sketch of a heart that you need to draw, uh, you can do that on your iPad and then get that in and it will appear on the notes inside. Uh, which is nice and there's loads of color options now featured in other videos i'll do an actual feature on this uh, as a specific video uh, but that's something that you can do and it looks great anyway guys i hope you found this video useful if you liked it just hit like um, i'm going to be doing more of these videos so if you have any evernote specific questions this is an ongoing series so i'm going to be adding I initially wanted it to be only eight, but I'm going to be doing this ongoing. So if you, as a student, have any questions that you need answering, just let me know in the comments. I will make a video on it and I'll do a feature. Let's say you're just starting out with your Evernote and you're like, oh my God, how do I organize my notebooks efficiently? Um, and all that sort of stuff. And of course, I'll be including all of the links in the description to what I've just said about and any future videos that I'm planning to. Anyway, guys, I'm really glad that you were able to stop by for the Evernote uh, for student series for the episode two. I'm looking forward to sharing more videos with you. If you would like to comment, just comment below. If you'd like to subscribe, do subscribe. I put out other videos to this too. But at the end of the day, have a great week. Keep productive, and I'll see you guys very, very soon. Cheers.